Hi, and welcome to this physics tutorial on the refraction of light. Today we're going to solve the problem shown. A layer of oil is sitting on top of a layer of water. A light ray in the air is incident on the oil at a 30 degree angle relative to the oil's surface. Find the angle of refraction in both the oil and the water. Now, those n equals symbols that they give me in each of the uh, materials, the oil, the water, and the air, are what are called the indices of refraction. And those tell us certain properties about the materials themselves. So let's start by drawing a picture of what we have going on. We first have the air, and this has an index of 1.02. And I'm gonna call the air my first layer. And then I have a layer of oil, and that has an index of 1.46. And I'm gonna call that layer two. And then finally, my third layer is the water, and that has an index of 1.33. Now, what they're telling us is that the air is where the light ray starts, and that it's incident, meaning it interacts with the oil's surface at a 30 degree angle relative to the oil's surface. So if my oil starts out in the air at a 30 degree angle, so I'm gonna draw that just like this, and that comes here, this angle here is 30 degrees. Now, whenever dealing with Snell's law, we always need to do the angle with respect to the normal, meaning the perpendicular to the surface. So this angle one, the angle that we're concerned about, is actually a 60 degree angle. And then the one that they're asking us for is to find the angle of refraction in the oil. So that would be our first ray. And then again, as it enters into the water, it will bend or refract yet again. So the angles that they want us to find are theta two, we'll call it the angle in the oil, which will be the same as that angle, and then theta three, or the angle in the water. So this is a sort of picture, a schematic, of where we're going with each of these. Now we can apply something called Snell's Law. So Snell's law looks like this, n1 sine theta one equals n2 sine theta two. I'm gonna first apply Snell's law to the first layer, and that will help me find my theta two. So my n1 is the 1.02, and then my sine of 60. Remember, we always need the angle with respect to the normal, or the perpendicular. And then I have 1.46 times the sine of theta two. Now, in order to solve that, I need to divide the 1.46 over, and then I need to take the inverse sine. So to get theta two all by itself, I take the sine inverse of the rest of what I have there. And I could plug this into my calculator first, and then take the inverse sine of what's left. And when I do that, I get an angle of 37.26 degrees. Now make sure your calculator is in degrees since we're entering the 60 in degrees. So that would be my angle in the oil. And then they ask us to find the angle in the water. So I can apply Snell's law and just change my subscripts so that I have the second layer and the third layer. And I plug in what I know. So I have 1.46 as my index in the oil times the sine of my 37.26, which is what I found was the angle in the oil. My index of refraction in the water is 1.33, and then I can calculate my theta three. So just like before, I'll take the sine inverse of the rest of it, and of course I have to divide that 1.33 over to the other side first. And then when I do that, I end up getting an answer of 41.65 degrees. And that would be then the angle of refraction in the water. So go ahead. Play around with this, see if you can experiment with some other examples similar to this using what's called Snell's Law, this equation that we just applied, and see if you can work it out on your own. Good luck!